Welcome to Factorio Base in the Book. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 18 of our Let's Play. So we, um, I, I, I wanted to have sort of a common theme. I want to have a common theme for every episode so that we can say today we're going to do X. And I'm thinking the closest thing we can do for the common theme is to, to sort of be playing with some Playing with this square, basically. This is the tile that we want to work on. This is where we have the uranium in, because uh, in, the, in the previous episodes, well, we did the train update, so now the train should be working somewhat, at least. Uh, obviously, we're not getting enough iron inbound to really saturate it. That's the one we need. So in order for getting to getting iron, we need to be able to clear biters a little bit more effectively. And we also want to make sure that we have Kovarex up and running. So let's take a look at how we want Kovarex uh, running Let's go down here and just junk these two. I am going to get a few of these brought in to me. 12 should be good. Well, actually, I don't want 12. I'm going to be like the five, maybe. So that's going to be for the Kovarex. Also up here, I am going to need another design for which we will use. For, oh, Let's put that here. I'll take these two out and I'll take that one here. Okay, so the objective of this is making some space for a build that probably should have been built a lot earlier. This is our military hub. So let's do a work on the military hub and get that sorted and then we'll get the core rig sorted. So usually I would build it quite early for doing this. So we get the tank shells, but I didn't really have a need for tank shells in this playthrough. So we're actually going to skip ahead of this one. I did not even use the tank very much. I didn't feel that was needed. I think I might have just made the biters a bit too harmless in uh, this playthrough. But now at least we have expansion on, so that's uh, that's something at least. So I want to build the whole thing, which includes... Let's actually just build it once I have figured out where is a good place to have it. I think I want to move it just a bit down here. Uh, the reason why I want to move it a bit down... Here, maybe? So there's a room on the top side for... Yeah, that's the one. And I'm going to build that one here and that one, which will negate the need for this. There. This is done, and this one will just need a single here. Cool. All right, let's take a look at what it does. It builds... Explosives. So this is everything that is explosive. I have my explosive hub here, and uh, not uh, this one is for uh, for one of the cliff explosives that I don't use for anything. So kind of irrelevant. And this go in here. Uh, but you know, it's it might be worth it might be worth it for you to have this one anyway. If you oops, is cliff explosive by the way? Is that not a military thing? I don't know. I can't find it. There it is. Okay, that's the weird. Explosive things. But then again, you can't hurt. So here we have artillery for the... Uh, this is making tank shells. And then also at this point here, filling this one up. How much do we set it to? Whoa. Wow. See, this is why we need, uh, need to get that out there. Wow, okay. Uh, this one should have a setup here so that I don't build too many of these. That will be over on that side. And how much do we want? We want... Hmm, we don't actually need very much. Like, let's get 400. Yeah, because when I go out, I'll, 400 is going to be the right number. Over here, I have rockets. This is for the Spidertron later on. I don't think I like the fact that this one is uncapped. So I think I'm going to cap this one as well for the, that one. And let's give you rockets. And let's get 2,000 rockets. That's a pretty good number to put in. These ones, they absolutely need to be fully stacked because that's for the artillery. And once you start shooting artillery, it's going to go real quick. Let's get the stuff inbound. It's actually really nice of this one to have this. So it's plastic and iron. Plastic and steel, thank you. Plastic and steel. Plastic and steel, plastic and steel, plastic and, st oops, plastic and steel. Hey, I found plastic. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually only going to be here. Mm. This one can be anywhere. So I'll do that one and steel on this line. Perfect. 
and steel can be built here. That's two up, that's one up. Steel, steel, and go in. Perfect. That's the first one. And this one is actually a mistake, I think, because I think it has to be a double. It has to be tilted here because it also goes in, and that's the only way that I can get green circuits to this. Plus, I think these need green circuits. Yeah, they do. They do. Okay, so this one has to be iron and green circuits. And this one has to be coal and... Uh, coal and sulfur. We could do that. We could do that. Oh, lucky how that is not colliding with the robot port. And we have the first one. And then get the coal. Hmm. Why do I only have one coal line here? Mm, I'll get two coal lines. And. Oops. Wrong way. I'll get that out. Perfect. And the last one will be iron and. Green circuits. Oh, wow, I don't even have green circuits going down at this point. Uh, it doesn't matter. Wow, look at me. Look at me doing this. Look at me done not respecting my own rules and just uh, going straight through that. There we go. This one. And I guess... Is that an option? It's not a good option though. It's gonna be super uneven. But it is it is gonna work. And then we get the water in. It's not gonna use very much water, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, except that oh I guess I need water from up here. Yep. That's interesting. This one will be then pushing the wrong way. Or the opposite way of all the rest. There. Boom, got it. That is actually really neat. Uh, should I be taking this one in here? And should I be taking that one here? And then build a little pump? I think I always kind of want the pumps here. That one. Great. Oh, look at that. It's working. It's working. We're making a decent si a decent amount of, of this. Looking good. And obviously, we're not going to get very much in here. But I don't really mind that much. I think it's th this shouldn't be consuming that much. Cool. We are getting the first ones in here. That is excellent. Let's build the Coverex build. Because with the Coverex build, we could just squeeze it in here. With Coverex build, we are going to need, or we will we will finally sort of have an infinite supply of Uranium-235. But this is also super important because I see a lot of people who is who are sort of, you can't, who are refraining from using nuclear power until they have Coverex because, oh no, you, you don't have very many. And, but look at this. This is me running an 8 reactor setup for quite a long time on a very small base and a, just a single little supply here coming in. And I'm still accumulating like vast quantities. Uh, this is kind of an annoying, annoying place. Do I request a tank here? Yes, I do. I'm not going to be using the train anymore, but I'm going to use the tank very soon. Let's get the let's hurry up with this one so we can go out and uh, teach those biters a lesson. Right, so I have a build for this, and and I don't need to do this because I can just grab it from here. I have many different ways of making nuclear, of making, yep, not, uh, this, this making Corex. This is one that is just encapsulated, and I wanted to do, do one that was circuit-based. It's okay, and it works, but I don't like it because it's kind of fragile. This one is sort of a row. It only has eight beacon rates, which is not ideal. And then I have this one that I just uh, created not too long ago. I just had an idea like, hey, shouldn't it be possible to make a coverage build that uses only... I'll put it here. Uh, that uses belts to do everything. And since I don't have the blue belts yet, I'm going to do redo this whole thing with this. Which is not going to go to there. So I'm going to need to go with that one here. Yeah. And again... From this side, there. Uh, is that correct? 
Yes, it is. And that one. Because it doesn't need to go fast anyway, so I don't need to use the blue. And they are all requesting these that I don't have to. No, I do have them. I do have them. This is actually the most important place. So what I what this I I'll, I'll fire it up and then we'll show what it does. This one, very, very simple. Going in. And the other one is now going to be. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? And that should probably also be wired. Let's wire that. Let's say this. This one is only taking when the uranium is more than 10. I don't know. This one should also have a better way because I could end up in a situation where that. And now I, soon I want this to go higher, but at least go 100 right now. And this one is going up. It doesn't need to be on both sides. There. Okay, so let's uh, recap or just explain what it does. It picks up from this belt and then it uh, goes in here, checking along, building the uranium. It's working at 6.7 speed. So this is normally on a 60 second cycle, right? Yeah, so it's less than 10 seconds to go. Then it takes the dark green one and puts it out here in this cycle which will then be ready to go in here because this is a green inserter and this is a blue inserter. So the green one will be grabbing first, even though it's stuck there. You can see here, some of them might be just stuck a bit. That doesn't matter. Uh, it'll This one will never fill up because this one, these two will work at the same time. So it'll take the two in and then supplement. You can see here the th five that it needs. So this one's gonna take three. It should, it should take three and the other one takes two and that gives us the five. So that's always working. Then it outputs the light green uranium on this side, which goes on the inside belt. And you know, the, they always want to pick up from the inside belt if at all possible. So that's working. And then I can just say, how many do we want of these? I don't know, not many, but uh, not none. I think, uh, I think two is actually plenty for us. But what I want to do as well is actually something completely different. Here, let's try and something else because let's build uranium there, nuclear fuel as well, uh, which means this one is not having any point in being there. This is fine. This comes from the storage, which is probably going to fill up at some point. And you are going to go grab that one. And what else does it need? It needs some inputs. So I'm going to request that from here. Yes. And then we come to the weird situation like that, where it actually just goes, I need a lot of this, so just fill it up. So what if, what is this doing? This is basically, this is basically taking, these will start filling up, but only when they are full, will it start feeding it further on down the line here. And when that happens, well, it's going to be picked up by this if at all possible it can and then any residuals will just go out here and become storage for you know not no point at all basically and that will be and that it means that this build is now actually completely complete completely complete i think i'd like to request some of the good ones again just because we do have some places where we absolutely must use it. Let's see. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can put these in here. How much we got? This is 4.5. This is 200. The other ones are full. Uh, this one needs to be upgraded, by the way. How do I upgrade it? I upgrade it by... Copy, paste. That one takes out. And this one goes... The good ones and the small ones and the beacons. There we go. Should be coming in. Yes, 20 on the way and 50 on the way. Oh, yep, 50 on the way and 20 on the way. It is what it is. That's what we, we have at this point. I don't care about upgrading these because 
I can consume what I can mine and it's basically infinite supply of uranium. And if I need more uranium, I can do it somewhere else. I don't want to waste mod modules on that. And here we go, some good ones. That is excellent. Boom, that's important. Now this one can probably just go open there. This one will, uh, what? Is this one, actually, no. Now this one should just consume whatever I have, because why not? Making this one, and it actually is kind of, kind of, this is actually kind of incorrect. I know it's started like this, but it's much better to have it as a requester chest here. That requests the good stuff. This only works, obviously, if I already have some residuals or something going out here. Yeah, I do. I don't like the fact that this one is not. Okay, I have a better idea here. I have a better idea. Much better to copy this out there and paste it here. Right, so the point of this is that stuff goes in and some of it will be stuck here so that this one will always be working. Uh, this one's not working at all. And then half of it will pass on. But as long as, long as these two are working, I can guarantee you we will have enough. And now if not, oops, if nothing else, I can always just get more of get more build more of these and then just move this further along like bigger four of those or something um we might want to get nukes i don't know if that's the case we, we are going to build more but anyway we have this one working this is working quite slowly but i don't really need it to be faster it's just wanted to be as effective as possible efficient as possible not effective as efficient as possible it's working we have coverx now we have this one i am going to request uh for various sorts of ammo and stuff I'm gonna get some some explosive cannon shells. Give me 400 of those. Thank you very much. And that will go put it into the tank. Let's see if we can put some of all of the stuff we put we've carried here. Uh, put it in here. Get a, get in that one. Uh, get those in here. Yep. And some steel. Where do we want steel? I think we want steel over on this side. Cool. And some plastic over on this side. And some copper is not needed for any of this. Let's see. Are you good? You're good. No, you're not good. You don't need to be there. There you go. And you can see we're starting to work on this because this is full. Perfect. Right. It is time for us to go out and smash some biters with our new setup. I'm going to take all of this out. And I'm also going to remove this because I don't need any of these for a very long time. We got that one. We got 200 of those ammo. Nah, let's get 600 because 600 can also still be placed out here, out of out of view of my build. So I'll do that. Let's build the tank. And should I also get more laser turrets? How many laser turrets do I have in my inventory? I have 200. That's plenty. See, this keeps getting attacked down there. Do not like. Do not like indeed. Well, where is our? Oh, there's there it is. That's 67. Come on, give us more. Okay, screw that. In here. In here. And you go out. Cool. I'm happy. Now, let's go save the world. First, we're going to clear out the path that keeps being attacked. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, yeah, yeah. This is... This is... Okay. Slight little intermezzo here. There has been a comment about comment about what happened what are you going to do when this happens should you have some intermediate stations you can say yeah you could do some intermediate stations but this case is actually the problem that this is just too slow it's not too slow why is it too slow something is not working here ah <gasps> I see it. I see you. I see you. I'm going to go rush down there and fix that. Okay. So that was, well, it was an indicator of an error for sure. And it needs to be fixed. It's simply because there's no wire connection between the boxes and 
that location. So they, they're simply not requesting anything. Okay. That sucks. Like this one. There. Now this one has a quantity 57. This one is going in 57 gets converted 57. It's here. I think that the issue is also that that one was not there. I think there's some copy pasting that went wrong here. Uh, let's actually, I think that's better to just copy paste it correctly. Like this part. And just, uh, just get the whole thing in. There. That should now be copy pasted correctly. This one is outputting two. This one is two. Everyone's happy. I am getting the train coming in. Great. Right. But the issue still stands in the sense that in sometimes you will have and i think it's this is the particular one here <laughs> how did that happen oh dear oh that's not quite right that's not quite right is it <laughs> oh dear oh no Oh no! How did that one get messed up? Oh no! Oh, I know why. Uh, I know why. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna just take a little break and then you can laugh at this all you want. Oh, man. It even, it even got worse. Be oh, at least it didn't spread out here. Okay, I'm gonna fix that one and then we'll, uh, we'll ignore that little problem. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I'll cut that out, right? I'll cut that out in post. We, we can always do that. And the crisis is averted, uh, but a new crisis has appeared. This one is keep getting more and more attacked. And that's because I spent a bit of time cleaning up this awful, awful mess. So uh, I am going to go out here and take the tank out for a spin. And while I do that, then uh, let me just exp exactly explain what went wrong. So when I built these stations down here, and this should be a lesson for you, what I did was I took the iron one and copied it in here. And then afterwards, I copied the train station on top of it. And I replaced the I replaced the iron station that I now copied in with the coal station there, which meant that the train got suddenly got sort of reassigned to uh, to the wrong input line. Very bad, and that's kind of something that happens. But uh, let's let's try to not have it happen so often. Oh, yeah, we should actually have gotten some better ammo here. There, there, there. Let's do that one and let's uh, disable that for now. Let's take this out for a spin and see how well it fares. Oh, I should be doing some science while doing that. Recovery, that one, the other one, that one, that one. We'll take some things here. Good. Just random things, just to keep make sure that we keep going. Let's see. Boom. These explosive shells are just doing absolute work to blue biters. And we're not at the point where we have any more difficult biters with us yet so it should be fine we can go down here and fix this damn thing and go there we go not a wall has now been restored it's all good and there we go i'm going to disable this we're going to take a few of these out just those are the ones that keep attacking us down here at this location where we don't have repair packs and don't have enough of the things that we want so it's a bit more fragile Let's blast a few of these, just so that we don't get any trouble. Swerving as much as possible is a good idea. There, good stuff. I think that's the stuff that will be attacking us. Uh, that one could also be attacking us. Aside from this, now there's going to be a massive effort into just cleaning things up. Let's actually just switch and see how easy it gets cleared with the... Uh, with just uh, uranium ammo. Uranium ammo should be doing quite well as well, as well. It's kind of easier in a sense. You need less thought about it. So just roam around. We take a bit more damage. It goes a bit slower, but it's easier, I think. So what I need to do now is I need to clear out this space here. Basically, I don't want to encapsulate or uh, let's take that one out. I want to get it here and then in. So this one has to be, uh, be cleared. Uh, that's going to be a whole lot of the same thing, so we'll just uh, skip that ahead, so we uh, we can get onwards to to actually 
building the new output and that will fix our iron aside from not putting coal into the iron line. <clears throat> so we have uh, expanded the uh, nutter wall has been expanded all the way out here. The essence of this uh, nutter wall, I mean, I have these ones for repairs, but honestly, I'm not going to be using them soon. Once we're done with all the breaking force, we're going to be researching the spidertron. Once we have the spidertron, I'm going to have a few spidertrons sort of patrolling, clearing out the stuff that's nearby, going around, uh, replenishing with uh, with just repairs and and uh, new so new laser turrets. That's basically how I defend my nutter wall by sort of having roaming. Uh, roaming spidertrons. I think that works really well. So that's basically the the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, what I'm am gonna do is I'm gonna build all the way over there. It uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. We have done that before. So let's uh, just smash this one in here and get on with this part. Uh, unfortunately, I can just see that we have quite a bit of forest in the way. Uh, let me see do i even have a clear stretch of road anymore or it's clear stretch of rail yes i do let's make sure that we get that one sorted and then we can move on to this location so that's gonna all of this is basically just to get another iron depot iron location but you know it's 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 also more than that because yeah there was someone who made a little a little boo-boo with uh <clears throat> <laughs> with the iron there uh, so before we go all the way over to that location I mean I can definitely do this one also just make sure that there's no nothing between the tracks it just looks bad that is good and then we can go all the way over here and then before I actually start building it or more likely as I start doing that here we are going to need this one and I am going to use this uh, am I not going to use the actual real one I might actually do that let's try and see if we can I want this one and I sure as hell hope it doesn't have a name to it I have disabled my robo fault so that's good I am this is definitely going to be a two like that and like that yep then i'm gonna re remove all of my things that overlap it uh this should also be something here yeah all of my power poles and then i'm gonna build it again that location and that location yep and i think i'll just uh start exploding this part and then fire up the robots they need to get started on the work so I know that my robot here or my blueprints are not completely done or completely ideal because they don't have all of the robots all the way out here that's something I can easily fix myself let's not go in there but just get a copy this one. Oh, I actually wanted uh, no three and then you can just dump, stamp it down here as well don't need this part don't need this part don't need this part and then what else do we need we need to make sure that i have like a good long line i think it's better to do that from the map view here this one i'll just take it in everywhere so that we can see if there are some places that something is missing there and that one and then we're going to rotate it so we also get it from the other side there might be a few here and there yeah see there are a few that will be added this way which is great this is what i wanted to see here and that one cool that uh, is done we don't have a well we don't it's our robots we spend a lot of time clearing things so that's kind of uh, out a bit i can build some of the things myself uh, like sort of explode things oh hold on might there be something about we'll see please don't be one off please don't be two off ah it's two off really wanted that so damn I really wanted that 
And we want it to go in smoothly, but I guess that's not an option. So we'll just do, do this one instead. And then go this one. Does not look quite as good as it should be. It's also kind of annoying that these take forever to... I don't like this new way of, of doing it. It's it's a... I mean, it's a minor thing. I know it's to prevent robot abuse that I was so happy to do. Uh, the way that they stop working when they are when the robot ports are discharged. Oh, man, that looks so bad. I just really want to build, move the whole thing two tiles down. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. All right, you know what? We'll just uh, build this, and then uh, we can come back and and see when it's done now it is uh, coming in that was uh, easily done but i have a bit of an issue here this one should be iron otherwise we have exactly the same problem again please don't do that okay this stops here yes this stops here yeah and none of them have turned on green yet and i can then start fixing it here so we can build this one what are you doing, little buddy? What? Okay, one, two, three, four. F that one, right? Yes. And then I need to take five from this one. One, one, two, three, four, five. Is that good? Yes. And this one, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And one more. No, I don't need that. All right, let's see when these ones are firing up. Let me see, see if everything is built down here. Looking good. Got everything. I don't need that. And, oh yeah, and of course, of course, as can surprise no one, I guess, uh, I decided to move the whole thing two tiles up anyway. And it's up there, so now we have a much cleaner input here. It just looks so bad. Just looks so bad. Uh, that one will be... We'll put it here. Or I could put it that one. Then I could put this one... Basically like this. Yep. They have one. Yay! Let's see if we could get an iron inbound. So all of this to fix our iron location. What is the, the iron situation actually looking like? It is looking okay, I would say. Yep. This one can request one, this can request one, this one can request four. So definitely need more in these locations. And here we have our train input, our inbound train. Let's hitch a ride. I think everything here is working. I don't think there's anything that's out of the ordinary. We have our perimeter defense. We have our Corex that we will just take a look at once we get back to the base, just to see how things are working. That's excellent. It loads super nice and quickly. And now I'm kind of wondering if we don't have enough trains then. I only have four trains. I think I definitely want six trains for this kind of thing. That's going to be... Yeah, it'll be much nicer to get six trains. We'll build, build a few. Best or easiest way to do it. That one's stuck. That one's stuck. Yeah, they're going to be stuck for a while because this is the only... We're still not building enough. And here. Remember the trains. Yes, please. Go through. And... That one. Go. And I, as much as I'd like to have one more train, I don't think that makes a lot of sense at this point. Here. Do we have these? Yeah, we do. All right, that will come in and they are just taking out all of this. All right, I am super happy with what we've done. We're going to just take a peek over at that part just to see how things are working. That means we're also ready to start putting in some artillery if we can find some artillery somewhere that we can get. And there it is that goes in here. I don't need any more of this. And that one. Boom. Got it. So what we have now is six trains on this network, which is really nice oh this one is also enabled train limit is six so this one just needs a lot of trains but unfortunately none of them can actually go out yet because even though we've just doubled it then 
it's going to take a bit of time for this one to actually stack stockpile enough. Uh, it's 4.7. This one is 7.6. Yep, it's going to be looking really nice. So we have now restored our base and it's looking good. This one, how are you doing? You have 102, as you should have. This one is chucking along and just making more. These ones are here. Actually, I want to start using this. And yeah, okay, we have quite a lot of this. We have 813 uranium stockpiles. So right now, uranium is done. We don't care. We never, we'll never run out of uranium again, no matter what we can come up with. And so this episode, what we did, we did Kovarex, we did our artillery build or our military hub. So we can, we've now prepared for having artillery shells also stockpiled, also uh, rockets for the Spiraton. So we're starting planning a bit ahead, move the perimeter out, tap to more iron, everything should be working. And then we're not even going to talk about the coal in the iron mine. We're not talking about that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it. I hope you're enjoying this series and want to keep watching because I want to keep playing. So thank you everyone. Take care and stay effective.